Hello and welcome to Point of View. The space community is over the moon as barely week after the launch of India's moon mission, another lunar lander is headed for the moon's south pole. Today Russia launched its first moon lander Luna 25 since 1976 in race with Indian spacecraft Chandrayaan-3 to the south pole of the moon. The launch took place from the Vostokny Cosmodrome, 3,450 miles, or 5,550 kilometers east of Moscow. The launch took place four weeks after India sent up its Chandrayaan-3 lunar lander, due to touch down at the pole on August 23rd. Russian space agency Roscosmos said Luna 25 spacecraft would take five days to fly to the moon and then spend five to seven days in lunar orbit before descending on one of three possible landing sites near the pole, a timetable that implies it could match or narrowly beat its Indian rival Chandrayaan-3 to the moon's surface. Roscosmos said the two missions would not interfere with each other or collide because they have different landing areas planned. Chandrayaan-3 is due to run experiments for one lunar day which is two Earth weeks, while Luna 25 will work on the moon for a year. With a mass of 1.8 tons and carrying 31 kilograms or 68 pounds of scientific equipment. Luna 25 will use a scoop to take rock samples from a depth of up to 6 inches to test for frozen water that could support human life. The Russian lander has a four-legged base containing the landing rockets and propellant tanks, an upper compartment holds the solar panels, communication equipment, onboard computers, and most of the science apparatus. The lander has a 1.6-meter-long lunar robotic arm to remove and collect the surface regolith to depths of 20 to 30 centimeters. The robotic arm is equipped with a scoop and a sample acquisition tool, a 4.7-centimeters-long tube with an internal diameter of 1.25 centimeters. Leading space researchers claim the moon is the seventh continent of the Earth so we are simply destined to claim it and tame it. Luna 25 makes use of a completely Russian element base and the latest achievements in the field of space instrumentation. Russian authorities say the main task of the mission is to develop the basic technologies for a soft landing in the circumpolar region and conduct contact studies of the south pole of the moon. Contrasted to earlier Soviet Union lunar explorers. The Luna 25 spacecraft is fundamentally different from its predecessors in terms of landing. The new station will for the first time provide a soft landing in the circumpolar region with difficult terrain. The probe is targeted for a region of the south pole of the moon, touching down near the Boguslavsky crater. Its a reserve area is southwest of the Manzini crater. Luna 25 will study the upper surface layer in the region of the moon's south pole as well as the lunar exosphere and develop landing and soil sampling technologies. This Russian moon mission continues the series of the former Soviet Union's lunar exploration activities that ended back in 1976 when Luna 24 successfully delivered about 170 grams of lunar soil to Earth. Earlier, Prior to Russia's invasion of the Ukraine, the European Space Agency was to provide the European Pilot D camera built specifically for precisely landing Luna 25 on the moon. Due to the conflict, ESA cancelled the camera cooperation, among a number of other collaborative space projects. Rough terrain makes a landing there difficult. But the South Pole is a prized destination because scientists believe it may hold significant quantities of ice that could be used to extract fuel and oxygen, as well as drinking water. Let's see what new discoveries Luna 25 and Chandrayaan-3 make and how they inform or alter our understanding of the moon's potential to harbor life and its suitability for permanent human presence. Godspeed Luna 25. 
Good luck Ross Cosmos. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.